Dude, uncuff me. I want you to tell Alex something for me. Tell her I'm going away for a while. What the hell is going on here? Bartowski and Walker screwed up. So you arrest your own team? Old team. You had him in your sights. All you had to do was pull the trigger. What do you want me to say? That your mistake cost us this mission. You let Quinn get one step closer to assembling the key. Fine. I'll take the hit, but in my defense, killing was never my thing. You're a spy, aren't you? It's actually one of the things you liked about me. The fact that I wouldn't pull the trigger. Tell me why you're not returning Alex's phone calls, okay? She is worried sick about you. All she knows is you're gone, running covert missions. They call them covert, and I'm nuts? Because you don't tell anyone about him. She's your daughter. She's a liability. Wow. I don't mean that. Just I have to be ruthless. Well, at first you thought I was weak or scared, and maybe I was. But you taught me how to be a spy, Sarah. And after we, you know, after we fell in love, you stood up for me. You didn't want me to be any other spy. You didn't want me to change. What about Chuck and Sarah? Liability too, right? Good. By all means, lock them up. Throw away the key. Lock away your feelings too. Forget everything that we've been through, and you be ruthless. You just don't understand, do you? I got soft. I lost my edge. Your team was your edge, you giant jackass. What is wrong with you, man? You want to find Quinn, you know who to call, but don't you dare try to blame this on us because you're afraid. That's right, you're afraid that with us, that's when you're the best. And that's the truth, man. That's it? No response or anything? Screw it. Screw what, John? The court martial. I'm in. What are you? I'm free? Yeah. You, your wife, and my little roommate are gonna help me track down Quinn. Walker? You're escaping without me? Look, I heard your pep talk. I think I'm better off finding Quinn on my own. No, we're doing this together. I'm leaving. No, no, you're not. Why? Because of my mother. What? She's a spy. So? And she's standing right behind you with a gun. Sarah, relax. Chuck, I asked Mom to come. Mom, why is there a gun out? Oh, sorry, dear. Old habits. It's good to see you again, Sarah. My name is Mary. Grandma, what did we say about baby Clara seeing firearms? It's a no-no. I am sorry. <laughs> Your Mimi loves you. Chuck, I have intel on the key. You staying, Sarah? Your father originally developed the Intersect as a teaching tool. The key was the matrix for programming the system. So I can do anything. Rourke, Hartley, and Steven split the pieces so that no one could alter the Intersect without their agreement. Your father gave his piece to someone in the government. There's one upload left. If Quinn puts all three pieces together, he could fix the bug that blitzed Sarah and Morgan's memories. And then upload it into himself. He could also add new skills, new information. Chuck, we need to talk. What Mom is talking about down there is an intersect that can create a new identity or restore an old one. Oh my god, you're right. We could load Sarah's memories onto the key. This could work. We create a file on Sarah, okay? Your wedding album, her dossier, everything. All you have to do is get the intersect glasses back from Quinn. Okay, it's gonna take a few days, but I can reprogram them for Sarah. You just have to convince her it's the right thing to do. Sis, you're amazing. This is fantastic news. Ooh. Hey, Chuck. Quinn was spotted entering the Pacific Concert Hall. Beckman's there to meet with her Chinese counterpart. Your mother says Stephen gave the key to someone in government. She's the target. Beckman has the key. We found Quinn. He's at the Pacific Concert Hall. We gotta go. Pacific Concert Hall. They need us. Let's go.